Hello, my name is Przemysław Wyszgowski and I'd like to give you a brief overview of our article Occupational HIV Risk for Healthcare Workers Risk Factor and the Risk of Infection in the Course of Professional Activities Virtually created panic among healthcare workers about AIDS prompted us to review the scientific literature about the risk HIV transmission in daily work of healthcare workers, especially surgeons and anesthesiologists. In our review, we report worldwide valuation of the number of HIV infection that may occur from unsafe daily work in healthcare. It's estimated that currently more than 35 million human beings globally are HIV positive. Despite the decline in proportion of new reported infections of human immunodeficiency virus, in about 30% due to medical advances and longer survival of people, approximately 25% of HIV positive patients will need in the future medical care. For these reasons, all healthcare workers need to know how to prevent and how to fight with the accidental exposure of HIV virus. The risk of HIV infection isn't very high, but every healthcare worker, especially the sergeant or anesthesiologist, must in their daily work observe precautions to prevent transmission of human immunodeficiency virus. We believe that our article brings many valuable suggestions about avoiding HIV transmission and post-exposure prophylaxis in the daily work of healthcare workers. In this article, we present how to minimize the risk of infection by using any precautions, such as washing hands before and after examination of patient or any other medical procedure, using liquid hand sanitizers, impervious gowns, double gloves, or protective glasses, especially in surgical procedures, and many other precautions. In this article, we also presented how should function post-exposure prophylaxis in accordance with the latest reports of the Center for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta. Thank you very much.